Welcome back. Alright, so we last left off, we already went through the Matrix. So now we're going to talk to uh, Mr. Delilah. Delilah, yeah. To hire a new crew. Do, do, do. Uh, for this mission, we're going to go after the Ripper. So we're going to head over to um, the Mercy, Mercy Mental Hospital to find him. Alright, so Shan Sky is going to be, um, she's going to be free because, you know, her, her, uh, brother, uh, she has debts to settle with the Ripper. Uh, I think I'm going to go with De Morgana, maybe. Yeah. I want to go cheap. I don't want to deal too much. But I think it might be better to have at least two people in this one. So, we'll go with her. Yeah. Dr. Holmes. Hire him. You can still hire more runners, but you need to continue. Do you want to continue anyways? Yeah. Cheaper is better. <laughs> right now. Mercy Mental Hospital. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes. And you've tracked him to Mercy Mental Hospital. Located in the notoriously anti-meta-human farmlands of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. Despite the pe pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts, ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows all around the building is a lawn gone home. It's a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital, steps to confront Sam Watts' killer, and bring an end to the Emerald City Ripper. <laughs> Let's see here. I think everything's right. I don't got anything really. Just got the jazz, but we're all full of stuff, so. I don't think we're going to need the grenades all that much. <clears throat> and it's saying about unspent karma. Which we probably should go ahead and start spending up some of it. I'd like to spend a little on the intelligence. So I can get the biotech 2. Uh, enemy H... It gives you the enemy HP visible, so it allows you to see uh, a person's hit points. So that's pretty good. I like that. Know what you're getting into, you know? Dodge. Add a little dodge in there. And maybe some rifle. Do. A little ranged. I like to do quickness, but that can wait a little bit. Receptionist. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? I'm here to see Holmes, Dr. Holmes. Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Look around before Holmes arrives. Please stay away. Stay within the cafeteria. There's Lorraine and Donnie. Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? Uh, I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. Donnie's face bl blanches. I don't know. I don't think you really want that. 
Not really. What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. I should go. Not gonna argue with that. Okay. Clock stop probably displaying a time from 40 years ago. What do you know? Have a decker. Take care of that. But it's not letting us do it. Why? It's an automated medication uh, dispensary. It does not recognize you. So it won't work for you. Lorraine. Uh, hey guys. Hey guy. Have you seen Josie? Uh, I don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Dr. Philip told me not to worry about it. He says I don't worry. I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play chess with? Donnie over there can't sus more than a match four. What's so important about this Josie character? He's a great guy. I mean, everybody likes him. Sure, he looks like a meathead once, but once you get to know him. He's a real thinker. He's got a Super Bowl gold ring. He always wears from when he played for the Screamers. And he's the only guy on this floor who knows how to play chess. Urban Brawl, huh? That's a rough profession. Not too rough for Josie. He says he want, he went whole seasons without any injuries. He was usually playing Outrider, though. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off a day, a day guard, but they keep a close eye on us. You could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something. He might just be in the cool-off room, and they won't tell me. What's in it for me? Well, you can keep the key. Oh, I got one other thing. The guard keeps some supplies in the bathroom lockers. I bet you could find some nice stuff there. Infirmary key. The stench of blood and mold gets ever stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. And there's a hand. A severed arm lies next to a zip body bag. Ah, oh, there it is. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index f finger. Its owner is probably the occupant of the bag. Take the ring. You slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and fill the weight in your hand. Inside it is an engraving. Engraving. It reads Screamers 2048. You have an unlabeled trivid disc. You have no way of playing back the disc at this time. So basically a CD or a DVD. The surgical cart is strewn with uh, gruesome tools, motorized valves, and metal. The, the patient information for, for Josiah C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Read the medical history. Josiah C. Dawson, date of birth 7-18-2015, height 1.9. Uh, 95 kilograms, occupation retired, allergies none, medication, alprazolam, rapix, atine. Reason for stay, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, yeah, deceased. Attached notes. Uh, patient had undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multiple pieces of scrap shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in an excellent condition 
and can be used to improve other subjects as well as fulfill some custom requests. So, did you see anything? Jos Josie's dead. The dead? I just saw him. I. Do you know what happened to him? Nothing conclusive. Well, thanks for your help. The notes of a scratchy PA system blast through the room. Attention, Dash. This report. Please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Gain to karma, speak to Dr. Holmes, look around. Ah, intercom. Dr. Holmes, the elf standing before you may, may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously, <clears throat> his meticulously clean lab coat, format jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, he locks eyes with you, smi smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Good day to you. How can I help you? Uh, silence. How about... Dr. Holmes, I presume. You are a hard man to reach, especially considering you're dead. I'm sorry, who's dead? He acts generally confused, but he can't seem to drop the smile from his lips. It was a good racket you had here had going here, but you got sloppy with your kills, and now the Ripper's trail leads straight to your door. The only trail I see is the one that you have left in your own wake. In fact, I believe the Ripper may be standing right in front of me. Gods? Leah. On the ground now. Okay. I don't mind if I get sprayed. Guards key. Seems that the good Dr. Holmes has something special planned for you. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. You know you won't be getting paid after I kill your boss, right? Good luck in the basement. Holmes and Pietzel are waiting. Pietzel. And he just leaves. It was because I couldn't... Yeah, I think that might be why. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So yeah, um, when the Decker goes in, it kind of separates into two worlds. So you'll have the Matrix world whenever you're dealing with the Decker's actions and uh, the real world will be the others. Uh, let's see here.
know how hard this one's gonna be though. Oh my god, 29. Hacked bathroom door lock. Nice. Okay. Server records, huh? One of the things I like about this one, this game, is that the uh, the music for um, for the combat music for um, the real world is uh, a remix of Shadowrun Super Nintendo, the Super Nintendo Super Nintendo version of Shadowrun. Um, one of the songs, I think it was a combat song, the overworld song. Killer. Uh, that's the same too. I think it's, uh, it's just remixed again. It's a little different. Act private records data store. I think that might be all, everything. Okay, let me jack out, get her jack out. Let's see here. What we got in here? Item. Concussion grenade. That could actually be useful. Swap with this item here. Ah, uh, just be sure I am. So yeah, I got the concussion grenade. I hope the stash has the, um, has the other grenade, grenade I swapped out with. Ah, okay. No cover. That's the only cover I have. Oh wait, what am I doing? I got a shaman. Haste. There you go. Another action point. Hell, if I want, I did full auto. Yeah, did full auto. Nah, that was close.
Let's go on in. Everyone has to go down. Yeah, individually. The halls of disrepair. So I'll I'll end this uh, this episode, this video, right here. And then we'll continue on with Mercy Hospital. Okay? Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching.